Hey guys, so this is going to be my first in a series of tutorials on fractal flowers and third order motion. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about what makes uh, something a third order motion and we're going to go over some basic anti-anti-spin patterns. In future videos we'll go over hybrids involving them, so if you already know the basics of third order motion you can go ahead and skip this video. But alright, let's get started. So. Um, what a third order motion is, is a shape created by three points of rotation, which you can visualize as your uh, shoulder, your wrist, and your hand. And uh, what this means is uh, in a regular, um, say we're talking about a triquetra, a uh, triquetra is created by the uh, ratio of movement between your poi and your um, arm. So there's two there's two. Uh, points of rotation, which would be your hand and your shoulder. Um, something that is very helpful when trying to do third order motions is uh, visualizing hand paths of flowers as um, linear. For instance, uh, we would consider the hand path of a uh, triquetra to be a triangle. Because if you were to anti-spin along a triangle, you get a triquetra. So the next step is then thinking what the um, here, hold on, I'm going to back up before I do that. Uh, so, in a third order pattern, your hand will actually be uh, tracing a, um, a second order pattern. So, for instance, your hand path could have the shape of a triquetra, and anti-spinning along that would make you be anti-spinning along an anti-spin pattern, which would make the pattern anti-anti-spin. So, Going off uh, thinking about your hand path as a triquetra and thinking about hand paths in linear ways, the next step is uh, making a linearization of a triquetra, which would look something like this. So if you can see, this shape has a lot of similarities to a triquetra, but it's pointed. And what you find with the triangle as the um, guide for the triquetra is that every point makes a petal. So this is the hand path that I want you to visualize when we first start going over um, third order patterns. So if you were to anti-spin along this, the pattern you would end up with would look something like this. In case it's not clear, I'll uh, draw it over the hand path here. So this would be what I call an anti-anti-spin third-order triquetra. Uh, now, a really common move uh, that a lot of people do before really learning anything about third-order motion is Zan's diamond, which you can actually think of um, if you separate it more from... All right, so Zan's diamond is like this. If you anti-spin along that, you get a pattern. But if you separate it more, rather than having the uh, cuts through the center, and you make it look something more like this, then you have a linearization of a four-pedal anti-spin pattern. Here, I'll adjust that so you can see it in the camera. So what that comes out to when you anti-spin along it is... Um, all right. It's a little wobbly and messy, but again, I'll, uh, I'll show it over the hand path linearization. So, these are two uh, of the more basic anti-anti-spin patterns. And uh, before we actually go into breaking these down and showing you how to spin them, I'm going to show you an example of an anti-in-spin pattern. It's also a lot of fun. Um, some amount of white space here. All right, graph paper. So um, when you're anti-spinning along a hand path that's doing an anti-spin, you're doing an anti-anti-spin pattern. So uh, on the other side, if you were anti-spinning along an in-spin pattern, you would be doing an anti-in-spin pattern. So let's talk about the uh, three-petal in-spin flower. If you... Um, try and make a linearization of this, what you get would look uh, like a triforce. So, um, in anti-spin, uh, if you use a triforce as your hand path, what it comes out to is 
Um, oh shit. Uh, hold on one second. There we go. It's a little messy. I will do it down here again. So as you can see from the writ drawn pattern, there's a couple key differences when you're doing uh, an anti-inspin pattern such as this. For instance, when we look back at these patterns, you can see that um, every lobe or what would correspond to an anti-spin pedal corresponds to uh, two uh, anti-spin pedals going off of it. When you look at this anti-inspin pattern, we have it essentially looks like three little triquetras with a triangle in the center. So you get three-pointed patterns. And uh, also in the way it's spun, there's a lot more overlap. You have to go through each triquetra uh, what looks like one and a half times before moving to the next one. All right, uh, I hope that's all clear. Uh, next part, we're just gonna go over a breakdown of how to do a um, basic anti-anti-spin triquetra. All right, so. Now we're going to go over the breakdown of the basic third order triquetra, the hand path for which I have drawn up on this wall. Ignore the fact that this is a different color, it doesn't signify anything, I just ran out of red tape. So the way to break this down is um, I break it into two halves, which would be this half here and then this half here. So what we're going to do is um, with your right hand across your left side, we're going to start at this point. We're going to go up that side. So the way that looks is one, two, three, four. Again, arm crossed across your body, up, side, there. The next half of it, because we're right at this point right now, is up, side, down. Out, there. So once you're comfortable with both of those, string it together. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've practiced that enough times, practice with your other hand, of course, you always want uh, to be able to do every pattern with both hands. Um, so once you have gotten comfortable with both hands in a third order triquetra, uh, there's certain things you can play around in, uh, in the pattern, such as a one pedal offset. So I'm going to start this poi at this point, and this poi at this point. So I'm down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm back where I started. So if you practice that, always keeping it one apart, this opens up some options for interesting um, stalling patterns. Stall, and then go backwards. Install other way. Install at any point. Alright, uh, apart from the third order triquetra, we also talked about Zan's diamond, or a sort of more spread out version of Zan's diamond, a linearization of a four pedal anti spin. So, what that looks like, uh, Zan's diamond pattern starting here arm across, down, up, side, side, up, down, side, side, up, down, up, side, side, up, down, side, side, up, side, side, up, down, side, side. So you want to get really comfortable with that with both hands and um, also practice the one pedal offset version, which would look like that. So, once you can do both those patterns, you can transition between them pretty easily because the lower two pedals kind of match up with the, uh, with the bottom half of uh, Zan's Diamond. Um, so, you could be going from third order triquetra up here, then from the side up into Zan's Diamond, back into third order triquetra, Zan's Diamond. Now, combining this with um, 
the one pedal offset idea. We're going to bounce from one pedal offset third order triquetra into one pedal offset third order four pedal anti spin or Zan's diamond. So there, 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 there. Up. Back into third order triquetra. Back into Zan's diamond. Bouncing back between the two patterns after one rotation. All right. Um, I guess it would make sense to quickly go over the tri uh, anti-spin triforce as well. Just think about, you can visualize a triforce right in front of you. It's got a bit of a different feel, but downside there. All right, and um, one more important thing to remember is you want to practice uh, different orientations of the pattern. Uh, like for third order, third order triquetra, once you've uh, practiced this one enough, work on practicing this one upside down. So it would look like the, the, uh, there'd be one lobe on the bottom and one here and one here. So it'd be down there. And with Zan's diamond, you're going to want to practice it rotated 45 degrees. So you can think of it like the difference between box mode and diamond mode uh, anti-spin four pedal. So you're going to want to learn it this way. Both hands with everything. So that gives you something to work on until my next video, where I'll be going over different possible hybrids involving third order flowers. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.